I, for you, at what point did you start hearing that Netflix was interested in making a second movie for the Babysitter Now franchise? There was all, always a little bit of rumors going on after the first one came out. Um, it was just kind of seeing when it was going to happen. So it was then, so two years ago, there's a little like maybe, like maybe nudge, nudge. And then um, last we shot it in October. So I think like August. Okay. Found out. Yeah. So it's and exciting. for you, what was it about, you know, being able to step back into Sonia's shoes that you were really excited about? I love Sonia. She's really fun because um, she's, she's one of the characters that actually really likes the dark arts and isn't just in it to just get like a thing, but in it because she really likes it. Yeah. So that's been really fun to play with Sonia, all her nail art and her, Saint Laurent fashion like esque thing and um that's, that's so, so so it's always really fun to just flip back into character with Sonia. And it's like we just I just talked to Robbie for him obviously he had to be shirtless basically shirtless. the same same costume that he did the first movie but for you you at least got a little bit of an upgrade was that nice? Yeah it was good <laughs> I got better nails I got like better clothes we got I think I was wearing like a Carl Lagerfeld shirt under there and <laughs> <it was Nice>. nice. <laughs> right being in purgatory was it too bad for her then <laughs> yeah, <it was> <laughs> <laughs> and now you obviously you have a moment in the movie where you it's like a total badass moment with the flamethrower but did you actually get to use one or, or are we looking oh, at yeah. movie magic <laughs> that was and this is a spoiler thing but that was me actually hitting the guy with the flamethrower like that was real it wasn't cgi'd at all <laughs> that was scary because i was like oh my god i can ruin this person's life if i do this incorrect because i only could do it once mm -hmm. and also at, when i hit him it real flames it wasn't like fake flames or <laughs> it was, i was like so scared and i was like my face can't look scared because we have one take but i hope i don't burn him you know like and mm -hmm. he's obviously professional but still there's always something that can go wrong you know yeah but it didn't so that was great <laughs> um i had a chance to work with the flamethrower i think the day before we shot it and it was great like uh, i thought it was going to be super heavy and kind of like hard to function but mm -hmm. it's a little too easy <laughs> a little too fun and um it was great because they rigged it really well so that it was completely safe and that was my number one concern, not just burning the stunt guy, but also burning down the mountain. I didn't mm, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you look badass with it. It's oh, like such you. like a Ripley aliens moment. <laughs> <laughs> totally. And now this movie, it's coming out on Netflix this week at a time where people are home and I think they're very happy to have new content available to them in their houses. Mm -hmm. just, just what does that mean for you, you know, being able to actually release a, a new film amid all of this? That's great because right now, I mean, I've had a few shows that were canceled because of COVID that I was on. And right now we're trying to get into pre-production with the feature, but there's just so many COVID restrictions and, yeah. and people, including myself, I'm, I'm still a little bit scared to go back to work so it's yeah. like the content is wanted but it's kind of difficult with all the situation we're in so I think it's super great that you get to have something that kind of takes you out of the COVID kind of uh thing we've been into it's just yeah ridiculous fun and lots of gore <laughs> and um since it was filmed pre-COVID like no COVID stuff so I think it'll be a nice moment to kind of just step away from all that and yeah. kind of enjoy like some really funny, like crazy moments in the film. <laughs> yeah, I think movies are really wonderful like that too, where you yeah. can kind of take a step away from reality and just enjoy, enjoy what's in front of you. Yeah, so, no, I, I, everybody I, feels that way when they watch this. I was gonna say, I love a horror comedy, and to be able to have a new one to watch over the weekend was very nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now, for you know, the first one also came out on Netflix. I think originally it was a new line cinemas, and Netflix picked it up. But you know, how much do you think being on Netflix contributed to the success of, of the first movie? Oh, I think a lot. I think, um, I think it screened really well like I heard rumors that it was like the most watched movie back then mm. and, and that and at that time Netflix wasn't doing like 
as many originals. Yeah. And all that, but it was like pretty pretty cool to see what that was going to be like because I don't think like I. I don't know if you, I think now you can kind of tell how much how many people watch on Netflix, but back then you were just unsure and you're just looking at your you know social media to see <laughs> if people saw it. But um, that was pretty that was pretty cool because you don't get like immediate reactions because with a platform like Netflix and Amazon, like you get all the content immediately, whereas like a lot of other places you just get one episode or like yeah. Sneak peek. But because it's a film, it was like all there which was cool so it, i think it brought on like all the fans for sure and you can immediately access it which is cool too yeah it looked like the reaction to the trailer for this one was really solid as well so people are looking forward to it <laughs> Yay! and it's crazy because judah and um, emily are like they were little kids when they shot i know and so you're all grown up now. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I actually like checked on Wikipedia to make sure it was the same actors. It's like, there's no way. <laughs> I saw a comment that said, why do they pick somebody that looks exactly like the main girl? And it's like, oh, it's her. That's why. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, 